God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. O Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the works my hands have made, I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe display. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great when through the woods and forest glades I wander and hear the birds sing sweetly in the trees, when I look down from lofty mountain grandeur and hear the brook and feel the gentle breeze. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Christ our Paschal Lamb has been sacrificed. I trust that even when I sin, I am sorely afflicted. And when I sad in my alarm, no man can be trusted. How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. O precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful. Your servant, Lord, your servant and I, you have loosened my bones. A thanksgiving sacrifice I make. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. In the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Christ our Paschal Lamb has been sacrificed. Be patient in tribulation, be constant in prayer. To the Lord in the hour of my distress, I call and he answers me. O Lord, save my soul from lying lips, from the tongue of the deceitful. 
Or shall he pay you in return, O treacherous star? The warrior's arrows sharpened and coals red heart blazing. Alas, that I abide a stranger in Meshed, dwell among the tents of Gedar. Long enough have I been dwelling with those who hate me. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for fighting. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Be patient in tribulation, be constant in prayer. Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Happy the man whose offense is forgiven, whose sin is remitted. O oh, happy the man to whom the Lord imputes no guilt, in whose spirit is no God. I kept it secret and my freight was wasted. I groaned all the day long, for night and day your hand was heavy upon me. Indeed, my strength was dried up, as by the summer's heat. But now I have acknowledged my sins, my guilt I did not hide. I said I will confess my offense to the Lord, and you, Lord, have forgiven the guilt of my sin. So let every good man pray to you, in the time of need. The floods of water may reach high, but in the shall not reach. You are my hiding place, O Lord. You save me from distress. You surround me with cries of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you the way you should go. I will give you counsel with my eye upon you. Be not like horse and mule, unintelligent, needing bridle and bed, else they will not approach you. Many sorrows has the wicked, but he who trusts in the Lord, loving mercy surrounds him. Rejoice, rejoice in the Lord, exalt you just. O come, ring out your joy, all you upright of heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. He is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead. Let us give thanks to the Father, for having made you worthy to share the lot of the saints in life. You rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his beloved Son. Through him we have redemption, the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creatures. In him everything in heaven and on earth was created, things visible and invisible. All were created through him, all were created for him. 
He is before all else I did. In him everything continues in being. It is he who is head of the body, the church. He who is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead so that primacy may be his in everything. It pleased God to make absolute fullness reside in him, and by means of him to reconcile everything in his person, both on earth and in the heavens, making peace through the blood of his Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. He is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead. From the letter to the Philippians. Work with anxious concern to achieve your salvation. It is God who, in his good will towards you, begets in you a measure of desire for achievement. In everything you do, act without grumbling or arguing. Prove yourselves innocent and straightforward, children of God and of the church, in the midst of a twisted and depraved generation, among whom you shine like the stars in the sky while holding fast to the word of life. As I look to the day of Christ, you give me cause to boast that I did not run the race in vain or work to no purpose. Man does not live on bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him. In every generation, he has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Man does not live on bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Blessed be Almighty God who watches over us as a father. He knows all our needs, but wants us to seek first his kingdom. Let us cry out to him as his people. He 
Father of all holiness, you gave us Christ as the shepherd of our souls. Stay with your shepherds and with the flock entrusted to them. Do not leave this flock without the loving care of its shepherd. Do not leave your shepherds without an obedient flock to follow them. Teach Christians to help the weak with loving care and in serving them to serve your Son. Gather to your church those who do not yet believe, and help them to build it up by good deeds done for love of you. Help us to turn to you for forgiveness. And as you forgive us, reconcile us also with your church. May the dead pass from this world to eternal life, to be with you forever. Our Father, who Who art art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Lord, look upon us and hear our prayers. By the good works you inspire, help us to discipline our bodies and to be renewed in spirit. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of God. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us, and also with our brothers and sisters. Horology of February the 18th. St. Bernadette Subaru, a virgin, who at the age of 14 was favored with 18 apparitions of the Virgin Mary of Lord. After these events, she entered the congregation of the Sisters of Charity and of Christian instruction at Navarre. There she sought to remain hidden while living fully the message she had received at Mass. In 1879, after great suffering, she finally obtained the happiness which had been promised her by our faith. In 1455, the heavenly birth of the Blessed Fra Angelico, having entered the prior preachers of his Gisel, at 19, he was later ordained a priest. He was then sent to St. Mark's convent in Florence, where he became well known because of some frescoes he painted. Pope Eugene IV and Nicholas V called him to Rome to decorate churches and chapels. His contemporaries paid tribute to the harmony which existed between the sanctity of his life and the beauty of his work. On the same day, the martyrdom of St. Simeon Having the same title, Brother of the Lord, as St. James, whom he succeeded as head of the Christian community of Jerusalem, Simeon organized the evacuation of the Christians when the city was under siege in 70 AD. He was later crucified by the Romans 
who had been suspecting another outbreak of the Jewish national. The year of grace, 449, St. Flavian, Bishop of Constantinople. He suffered because of his zeal for orthodoxy and fighting against the monophysite heresy of Eutychia. Pope St. Leo the Great approved of Flavian's conduct. His name was finally cleared by the Ecumenical Council of the Council. Elsewhere, then, we refer to numerous other saints who became first cardinals in the Book of Acts.